Today, I will guide you through Varola Messenger server installation for Windows. Varola Messenger is a completely private, self-hosted collaboration and messaging tool. It doesn't require any third-party plugins for any of its features, including voice and video meetings, screen sharing, and remote control. Additionally, Varola is free for teams of up to 10 users. I'll visit Varola.io website and download the server installation file. Here, you can open Varola server installation and running guides for different operating systems and see the installation instructions. Once the server installation file has been downloaded, I'll proceed with the standard installation. Varola Server for Windows has a graphical user interface. Make sure to keep this option checked during installation. GUI simplifies the server configuration and management. Even a newbie can easily do this. After the server installation is completed, its icon will appear on the desktop. To start the server, you need to specify an IP address and port the server will be listening on, and a directory to store your server database. By default, IP address 127.0.0.1 is offered to start the server. This is your computer loopback address, or local host. The server running on this IP will be available from your computer only. Nobody else will be able to connect. If you want to cooperate with people in your local network, you will need to enter here your computer address within your local network. And if you want to make it available from anywhere, you will need to make your server publicly accessible. Instructions on how to do this are available in the Varola user manual, and I'll include the link in the description below this video. In this video, I will show you how to make Varola server available within a local network. For this, I will find my computer IP address in my local network. I go to Settings and open Network and Internet. Then go to my Network Connection Properties, copy my IPv4 address, and paste it to the Listen Host field. I'll leave the port field as is, but you can specify any free port here. If you're not sure if the port you've chosen is free, just try to start the server and check the log. If the port is taken, you will see a critical error cannot listen on there. Try another port in this case. The storage directory I'll leave untouched, but you can enter here a path to any writable directory on your computer. Click the start button to start the server. Let's check the log to see if it started successfully. As you see, the server started listening on the host and port I've specified and now is waiting for incoming connections. I recommend to enable the option to start Varola server system as system startup in the server settings so you don't need to start it manually each time. Now I need to install the Varola client and connect it to the server. I go back to Varola website and choose the installer for Windows. The client installation is absolutely standard here. Okay, so now I can open Varola Client. Note that server must be live for the Varola Client to connect and go online. To log in, you need to use the server's host and port and default username and password, which are admin and admin. After logging in, you will see a welcome message with some useful information and also two test users, Bob and Alice. As the server administrator, you have access to some server options you can manage through Varola Client. For example, you can check your server health from administration menu and see the number of connected users, memory, or disk usage. You can simulate server crash and see in the log how your server reconnects and you are back online again. Sometimes you need this to reboot the system. And also you can check your server crash reports there.
Now, let's try to connect to the server from another device located in the same network. I will use a mobile phone and test user Alice for this. I need to enter my server's host and port on the login screen, but this time I'll use Alice as username and also as password. You can find this info in the message from Alice. Now you can see how two users, me, admin, and my coworker, Alice, are connected to the same server from different devices located in one local network. And that's it. I hope this video was helpful. For more information, check our user manual or contact our live chat support team available 24-7 at varola.io. And make sure to subscribe to see our new video tutorials.